At the center of the slowdown in China is the country's property market, which is seeing prices in decline for the first time in years. It's impossible to pinpoint where things are heading next, but this woman knows China's property market as well as anyone, and right now, she's not terribly optimistic. Until the real estate prices stabilizes, the economy will continue to deteriorate. Zhang Xin founded Soho China with her husband 14 years ago. Today, the company is one of China's most successful developers, with seven completed projects totaling more than 18 million square feet. According to Soho, in terms of area, that's about one-fifth of Beijing's central business district. But in the current climate, Zhang, who has a master's in economics from Cambridge University, is scaling back her company's expectations. 2008, uh, Beijing alone, the real estate market, if you look at the residential side, uh, transaction went down 50%, which means that uh, you know, construction for this year significantly slowed down. So for 2009, we're not projecting a very optimistic uh, scene. Do you think that the government is going about this whole situation in the right way? You know, it's very hard to say, you know, who has ever been through this? You know, I think everyone, the government, the private sector is trying to do their best. And I think any um, view to say this is right, this is wrong is too early. It's an about face from the problems Soho was grappling with back in 2007. When two years ago, you know, everything was going up. You couldn't get worker, you couldn't get cement, you couldn't get steel. So now, of course, we face another different sets of problems. Mm. But this 43-year-old billionaire is pushing ahead with four more Soho projects, including a futuristic complex designed by the firm of world-renowned architect Zaha Hadid. Another building that will further transform the ever-changing Beijing skyline. Angeli Rao, CNN, Beijing.